All right, welcome back everybody, and we've got another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. This is a tutorial on how to create a framing effect in 3D space. These types of effects are really popular in things like wedding videos and, uh, you know, pop-up videos where you've got stuff coming in with picture-in-picture. -picture. But uh, let's go ahead and just get right into this. So the first things first, I'm going to go into one of my folders. I'm going to grab some footage that's good. I've got a Hollywood, I've got a young couple here in the grass, and I kind of like that clip. So we're going to make them into a nice frame. So we're going to drop that into the timeline, and just going to add that in, and presto, we've got another uh, sequence here. We've got a new sequence. I keep, I have a couple other one, old ones, but this is a new sequence, and it's Free Young Couple in Love. And this footage is free stock footage you can find on the internet. Uh, it's free to use. I can't remember which site I got it from, but kind of doesn't matter. Um, so anyways, you drop it in the timeline and here we go. Now first things first, it's full screen. It goes in and it fills up the screen. So, you know, first thing we want to do is we want to create a background. Let's go ahead and create the background first. You won't see it, but we'll create it and then we'll show it to you. So we want to have this video against a white background. Now to get a white background, you want to go to color mat at the bottom here and hit OK. This is the full uh, size of the frame. This is the full frame. Uh, this was recorded in high def, 1920 by 1080. So that matches up. And we're going to go ahead and pick a background color. Now you want to drag this little slider here all the way down to the bottom left, which is uh, where pure white is. So uh, we're going to call this white background and presto. There's a background there. We haven't added it into time uh, line, by timeline. But uh, if you add it into the timeline on top like this, you will notice that you just get pure white. That isn't what we want. So I'm going to Control Z that out. What you need to do is you need to take this footage that you added in and move it up to a layer above. So now this is on video two. This was on the second layer, and then we want to stick the white background. Uh, in underneath it and then you know make it as long as the frame is as long as the as the clip is so it's in there but we still don't see it if you want to see if it worked if you're still not if you're still new to the game here and you're not sure how this works all you got to do is adjust the scale and you'll see hey okay the white background is there and it's on this bottom um, it's on the bottom level and the video footage is on the top level so if you hit play you'll see that even though it's rendering a little slow because we've got so many programs open, I've got so many programs open, but you'll see that it's up and running and we're good here. But we want to create a cool frame look. So, a um, couple things. Uh, in 2D space, you saw me go ahead and reduce the scale size. You can totally do that. That is something you can do and it works quite well. You can add a position where you can move this to the right or you can move it to the left or up and down, whatever you want. Um, also, if you click on the clip and double click it, you could go ahead and click here in the middle and you can move it to where you want. Okay, so let's say we want it to be right about there. So far, so good, but it's not 3D yet, so we need to make this into 3D. Now, how do you do that? It's actually super easy. All you have to do is go into your effects panel, go into the time, uh, into your search bar here and click and type in basic 3D. When you see this pop up, this this one <laughs> video effect can make anything three-dimensional. So you drag it, drop it onto the, your top clip. You want to make this video 3D. You don't need to make the background 3D because that wouldn't do much for you. Put it on the clip and bang, it's 3D. Now, you're looking at it and going, hey, I don't see any 3D effect yet. You're right, it doesn't come with any adjustments made to it. You have to go in and do those yourself. So, let's go ahead and swivel this. So we want it to, do we want it swiveled to the, yeah, let's swivel it that way. Um, it's a, you can see the edges off the, off the uh, end of the frame there, so we want to maybe move it back in space a bit. Maybe we want to tilt it backwards, because that's got a cool look to it. And it's a little bit small, so let's just increase the size. Okay, how about that? Okay, that'll do quite well. 
So we've started with Scratch. And now we have a white background. We have a video clip. It's in 3D space. We've swiveled it. We've tilted it. And we've moved it back uh, in the, uh, the Z-axis or in the 3D axis. So we've gone ahead and made some awesome adjustments to it. But we want to go further. We want to make this into some sort of cool frame look, okay? Now, this is going to be a jagged edged frame. There's, a, there's different ways to do it. You can go ahead and put a still image around it. So if you have a frame that fits this size, we can go ahead and do that. Or we could create one out of, from scratch. But I want to show you one of my favorite effects, which is the edge effect. In particular, so you want to go to the effects part, uh, pardon me, and type in edge, and you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff. You see bevel edges, convolution kernel edges. Convolution is just brutal to work with, so avoid that. But for us, we want to go to roughen edges. So instead of having these hard uh, edges you'll see on the video, let's go ahead and drop this onto the clip and see what happens. And ta-da, nothing happens that you can really see. If you really zoom in, you would see that the edges over here are a little bit um, uh, roughened up, but it's, it's really hard to see. So let's go ahead and make some adjustments, and this is going to look cool. For all you wedding videographers and all you guys that do picture-in-picture, picture, enjoy this. This is good. First thing, we're going to roughen up the edges. Look at that. That has that faded, cool picture look where you have, you know, you've had a picture in a frame, but maybe it's been... Maybe it's 100 years old and it's, and it's raggedy on the edges. Done. Okay, so that's done by adjusting the border. We can adjust the border sharpness. So if we want it to be really, really sharp, add it to 10. If we want it to be blurry and almost nothing, so it's kind of like you spilled coffee on the edges, you can have it to 1 or, or to 0. So kind of you could season this to your taste. I'm just going to stick with 1 because whatever, that looks okay. Scale. How much do you want? This this is a strange effect because it, it it's sort of I don't know, like let's go ahead. A thousand scale, it just it's wobbly, right? If it's at zero scale, it's it's quite um well let's just get the scale down to ten, pardon me. It's it's kind of you know blurry and, and, and simple. So scaling in around here, you know what? That's kind of a cool look right there. Um, now, let's go ahead and just adjust some other sliders. Do we want to stretch it? I don't know. It doesn't, you know, you can see the effect here. Personally, I kind of like it where it starts. Maybe we'll stretch it a bit. Right, a, that kind of looks okay, whatever. And then you can just go ahead and adjust some things like turbulence. And if you want it to, like, look like it's uh, in a waterfall, <laughs> you can go ahead and do that. And a couple of things real quickly here. Complexity. This is an okay thing. Um... I kind of like it where it were at two seems like the right number and then okay and then let's just go right ahead and do one of my favorite things so um, which is we're gonna work on the evolution which makes it move over time so anyways before I do that here you go this is a nice cool rough edged old school effect in 3d space so we've gotten what we wanted now let's say we want these edges to sort of you know evolve and, and move over time I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that as well you want to quickly go to this evolution tab here under rough and edges. You want to go to the evolution um, variable, pardon me. Click the toggle animation switch at the beginning, at the first frame, assuming that's where we want this, uh, where we want it to start. Click it, and then let's go right to the end of the clip. And oh, shoot, yeah, okay, right to the end. Say, and we're gonna evolve it. So when you evolve it it allows it to move over time. So let's say we wanted to do, uh, let's make that five, I don't know. Oh no, not five degrees, that was a, that was a, my bad. Okay, we're gonna do whatever, let's just go with that, just to show you how it works. Now watch. Starts evolution zero, clicking the space bar to play it. This is probably gonna load slowly because it's in, um, it hasn't been run yet, but I'll just, it'll give you a hint as to what we're doing. Let's go. Now you're going to see the frame, the edges of the frame have gotten that motion. And as it goes, you're going to see this number go up and up and up as we, as we play forward. So that has given you a rough-edged frame look that moves over time. Let's try it one more time. Excellent. That is a pretty cool effect, guys. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to show you a few more things here before I go to bed. And uh, I'll be back soon. Thanks, guys, for watching. Cheers.